Hi, my name is Sharam Azadi. I'm a researcher from Sensors and Devices Group in Microsoft Research Cambridge. And today I'm going to talk about the Touch Mouse project and some of the work that happened beforehand, some of the research work that happened beforehand on the Mouse 2O project. So these two projects were really looking at how we can bring together some of the really exciting things that were happening with multi-touch computing and something that's a very well-established input device, the mouse. Bring those two together to really um, leverage the power of both. Um, so the basic idea is to have a regular mouse design so you can do all of the, the typical things the mouse is good for, like pointing on screen very accurately or covering large areas of real estate on screen very quickly, um, but also add the expressiveness of the, the multi-touch sensor so that you can actually augment the desktop experience with gestures that allow you to do windows management, uh, scrolling, uh, and so on and so forth. So the project really started a few years back as Mouse 2.0. It was a research project um, in collaboration with Microsoft Research Redmond uh, and the Applied Sciences team in Redmond. So broadly, we wanted to really look at different ways of bringing together multi-touch and the mouse. So there's lots of different ways of actually sensing multi-touch. And we wanted to see uh, what form factors um, the different technologies could enable. So here I sh I'm showing you some very prototypical versions of uh, some of the de design work that we did. So in one instantiation, or in actually a, a few of the instantiations, we looked at embedding little infrared cameras inside the mouse. So this version of, of, of the device we're calling side mouse. And the basic idea is that there's a little embedded infrared camera inside, and there's a laser line generator that transmits a signal across the, the, the screen, across the, the, the table surface. And your hands actually rest underneath this as you're interacting. And there's a regular mouse sensor inside as well, so you can do all the basic stuff, like move a cursor on screen. And there's a clicker, so when you press your, um, your palm down, you can actually activate uh, a click, left or right click, depending on what, which side you're pressing. But the laser line generator in the camera also allows us to, to detect touch in front of the mouse. So any uh, tabletop surface can effectively become a touch sensor. Um, in another instantiation, we actually looked at almost two, uh, sorry, three mice in one. Um, so here we have these t two very small uh, articulated components which actually have mouse sensors inside them. And that, these rest under your thumb and forefinger and move independently of the main base. And the main base also has the mouse sensor which is controlling the cursor position. So these two can be used to effectively do multi-touch sensors which involve your thumb and, and forefinger. And they can be clicked independently, activated independently. Um, another version um, of, uh, of a design that we explored we called CAP mouse, and the CAP stands for capacitive. And this was a, um, a capacitive multi-touch sensor. And the real innovation here was that we could actually form a sensor on a flexible, fully flexible substrate that could be um, uh, built onto any compound curvature. And this enabled us to actually explore some ergonomic designs for the mouse. Um, and this is actually the design that we ended up settling for, the, the capacitive sensor embedded in the mouse. And this is what became uh, the touch mouse. So here's the evolution of the two sensors side by side. And you can see with the new touch mouse sensor, you still have this etched uh, markings where the capacitive sensor is. And as I was saying, the, the real innovation there is that we could actually design this sensor around a compound curve, curved form, which is much more ergonomically uh, appealing, so that we could actually rest our hands and use this pretty much as a day-to-day -day mouse alongside the ability to do these uh, touch sensors. So I'm just going to show you a very quick uh, demo app. And this one just demonstrates the data that we get on top. So you can probably see I, I'm moving the cursor as I move the, the mouse. But I'm also getting these, this touch data, very coarse touch data, which maps to the gestures that I'm performing on top of the, on top of the mouse. And this actually allows us to sense any sort of gesture on top of this mouse, be it like a thumb gesture where my thumb goes back and forth, 
or a scrolling gesture where my finger moves up and down, or multiple gestures where two fingers can move up and down. And I'll show you some of the gestures that we, that we, that we chose to actually um, implement with this, with, this, with this device. And they're really meant to just augment the standard desktop experience um, in rich ways. So the, the, the first very simple example is that I can actually scroll through a document just purely through touch, just by moving my finger up and down. I can also scroll with inertia by doing a flick gesture on top, either moving, flicking fast or slow. If I now um, flick and s put my finger back down, I can stop at any part in the document. I can also move my two fingers up to maximize a window, two to restore, and two further to minimize, and two up again to, to restore that window. Um, the other thing I can do is I can move my fingers, two fingers to the left, to uh, dock to the left, two to the right to dock to the right. So very quickly I can do Windows management without actually having to find the scroll bars or you know, the maximize buttons or any of these things on top of actually um, uh, doing regular mousing. The other gesture that, um, that is actually a, a new uh, gesture that's been added is this free finger uh, up gesture. And this allows us to actually flick through our application windows. So we can, this is an alt, alternative to Alt-Tab, so you can quickly choose between multiple active windows. So for example, here I can quickly move to a web page. I move my fingers free up again. I can move to a, um, uh, a set of photos. And then I can restore, maximize, restore. And then the final gesture is one that allows us to use the thumb. So here I can actually do a thumb flick and this goes left and right. Um, so I could go left and right in a document uh, su such as a web browser but I can also go left and right in my uh, photo gallery. So that's it in a nutshell. This is Microsoft Touch Mouse and it's available in stores near you.